In this video, I will show you how to play 5M with the controller. First off, I need to emphasize that you need to close 5M before you begin with this tutorial. And after you do that, if you're using an Xbox controller, you should be able to just plug it into your PC and start playing straight away because Xbox controllers are compatible with Windows. If you come across any issues trying to use your Xbox controller, at the end of the video, we will cover some general troubleshooting tips. If those don't help, you can also try the method that we will use for the PlayStation controllers. If you are using a PlayStation controller, you will need to do a few more steps, with the first being turning on Steam. If you don't have it, go over to your browser and search for Steam, then download it and just run the installer. It's very simple. Then you might be asked to log in or create an account, and after that you can get started. Now that we have gotten to Steam, we navigate to the top left and we press the Steam button, then we press the settings button and we can scroll down and look for controller right here, open that up and then make sure that you have enabled Steam input for PlayStation controllers. To do that, just press this button right here and make sure it's blue. If you're using an Xbox controller, make sure to enable Steam input for Xbox controllers. After you have done that, you can close this. Now we can go over to the library. When we get to library, we navigate to the bottom left and we press the add a game button. Then we press add a non-steam game and when this menu pops up we can scroll down and look for 5M. Then press the box right here and press add selected programs. But if you can't find it right here you can just press the browse button. Then right here you will need to find the installation folder. If you can't find it just go to the bottom left, press the search button, in here write 5M, then right click the application at the top and press open file location. Then find the icon in this folder. Right click it and press property. Then you will need to copy the text in the target section without the last part which says 5m.exe. Right click and copy only this selected part. Now we can close this and this folder. Go back to where you pressed browse. Go to the top and press this search bar right here. And just right click and paste what you just copied. Then press the enter button. Then you will be redirected to the 5M installation folder. Just select this and press the open button. And then just make sure it's checked and press add selected programs. Then go over to 5M on your library, right click it and press properties. Then go into controller. And then when you get right here, make sure that you press this button and press enable Steam input. Now you can close this and connect your controller. To do that you can either use Bluetooth or a wired connection. Go over to the bottom left, press the search button, then write Bluetooth and open up the application at the top. To do this you will need to put your controller into pairing mode. Just press and hold down the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. Or if you're using an Xbox controller just press and hold the pair button at the top of your controller next to the USB-C port for a few seconds. Then press the plus button right here and select everything else. It should appear right here, just select it and it will connect. But for this method you must have a Bluetooth dongle or a motherboard that supports Bluetooth connection. If you don't have either of those things you can just close this and go over to a wired method which I will show right now. To connect it using a wire we will need our PlayStation controller charger. Take the USB part of it and plug it inside of your PC, then take the other part of it and plug it inside of your controller. To run 5M, just go over to your library, select 5M and press the play button. Now after we have gotten inside of 5M, first off I'll show you how to change some settings related to your controller. You can press the escape button, then go over to settings. And you can go over to gamepad and change some of these settings right here. And here I am playing with my controller. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. I can open up the options. I can change my weapon. I can change my POV. Basically, I can do anything that I want. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.